my dear friends dealing with rejection through gospel is what today's readings are all about rejection is part of, of the business of this world it comes in endless variety of forms not getting a job parents whose approval always seemed to be just out of reach a parent who decided not to be your parent after all a spouse who comes home suddenly and says it's all over and then he says we have to live separate a friend comes suddenly blindsides and says i am done with you a relationship breaks just because of you excuses and both are rejected because of that relationship and there are certain rejections to betrayal sometimes children also reject you your very own children say let me go my way there are so many ways that there is all possibility that you and i will face rejection somewhere or other it is not only the human beings that we are rejected or that we reject i reject you you reject me in many ways in many situations and it's not only the human beings animals also reject you they don't want you they devour you animals do reject us you also reject animals you reject them because of fear the fear factor also brings in about many things and places that you reject therefore there are things in this world that also rejects you there are various things that you go through your life and some of them have rejected you and you also have said no to certain things there are certain situations in life that you have rejected and you don't want to get into any of such things therefore you reject them there are things like building room houses platforms stations abandoned they are also rejected there are things in your table that you reject you throw them off and there are so many things that sometimes you treasure them and after a little while you reject them and it is found in the dustbin there is no doubt that rejection causes an acute kind of suffering an acute kind of pain maybe it cuts through the lingering wood wounds that can splinter in a way in many directions in our life it lodges deep inside our lives trying to altering the way we see ourselves others situations and even god i wonder how jesus faced this rejection that we heard in today's gospel reading people in his own hometown rejected him how did jesus handle this rejection that is important for us because the bigger picture of the gospel today is not seen all that we see is they rejected him he seen their unbelief he moved away from there he just did not perform any mighty miracles just laid his hands on few of them and continued his journey beyond the mere realm human realm we sometimes lose the bigger picture and that is how we sometimes lose the actual part that can affect our lives therefore we have to learn from this gospel not to lose the bigger sight the bigger picture of who god is why because the scripture says that jesus was rejected and the gospel covers rejection jesus didn't experience quite a bit of rejection that is the beauty of jesus because of his dual nature he has the human nature to become human 
he has a divine nature to surpass human nature therefore we need to learn the bigger picture of how jesus brings in the path of we not becoming totally and forever rejected and being hurt always but rather to see the better part of it to be touched by jesus so that we can see the brighter side of it let us not lose the sight of god the sight of divinity when it comes to the part of rejection therefore let us look at how jesus was rejected jesus faced rejection from his family members as we see in john's gospel chapter 7 verse 5 not even his brothers believed in him they all did not agree that he was a messiah his own family rejected him as a messiah he had human relationship that tore him up then the love wasn't returned to him it in a way was not accepted therefore the first rejection is his own family members the second rejection that jesus faced was his community as we see in today's gospel reading when jesus returned to his home town they rejected him and jesus said a prophet is not accepted in his own home town and most especially without honor and that is how he says because without honor he could not perform any greater miracles there why because the support of the local community was not there his own community people did not they did not accept him as a messiah they only accepted him as a jewish child a jewish person and that is how he was unwelcome in the place where he was born nazareth jesus faced rejection in the third place from people who once claimed that they loved him his own disciples one betrayed him the other one denied him and the other apostles ran away when he was arrested therefore they all rejected him they thought the beautiful thing of how we can experience his love and they loved him a lot they took pride in walking along with jesus they lived under a shadow but when they see him being arrested they knew that's the end they rejected him but look at the aspect of how jesus does not reject them jesus comes back to them the fourth aspect is jesus faced rejection from his own father from heavenly father when he was in sorrow even at the dead point especially when he was in the agony garden there he said not my will let your will be done in a way he felt he was rejected by his own father we also see when he was on the cross he cried out my god my god why have you forsaken me why have you abandoned me why have you rejected me that is the pain that he went through why should he endure this pain why was he forsaken so that you and i can learn the next aspect redeemed by rejection jesus teaches us that we all are redeemed by rejection rejection is a significant source of pain for many of us it truly is a sweet comfort knowing that jesus understands our pain in the most real way that he shares the burden of our rejection as well he took upon himself that rejection so that you and i can look at the bigger picture of our human life not look into the aspect of the rejection and be caught up with it but rather his first experience everything that we now experience in order to redeem through his rejection to cover it in all his graces that he can give us because 
he went through it how terrible it must have been because the son of god who came into this world leaving his throne in heaven and now he comes to be rejected by his own you and i are also rejected in the same way but as st paul says today in the second reading he says my grace is sufficient for you jesus also says to each and every one of us today when you are faced with rejection my grace is sufficient for you but sometimes we become so weak when we are rejected by so many people our own things situations every day maybe i am faced with rejection what are we supposed to learn again paul says in today's second reading when i am weak then i am strong you are redeemed by christ's rejection therefore we become very weak when we are rejected we totally become demoralized when we are rejected we totally become paralyzed when people our own reject us but learn from paul what he says he says when i am weak then i am strong my weakness i surrender to god and when i surrender he redeems me and i get the bigger picture of his humanness and divine therefore the divinity comes into me to make me strong and powerful to redeem is to buy back that is what jesus says to accept to choose in other words the opposite of rejection is acceptance we need to accept we need to accept certain situations in our life that is the opposite of rejection by the power of the gospel we have received the spirit of adoption therefore we are permanently once and for all redeemed by christ through his rejection in life and through his death that is the reason why my dear friends rejection is not the ultimate situation in our life the acceptance i accept you i accept the situation i accept people i accept certain ways people live with me i accept things i accept the weather condition the nature the accepting part makes us feel as though we become like christ to accept rejection in our lives for a better life to see the bigger picture of our very human life amen